M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Right, got some help here from uh, G3ZHI setting up uh, the web transceiver for AllStar. AllStar um, is a linking system for joining repeaters, gateways, and individual users, um, whether they're using FM analog or digital modes like C4FM and DSTAR. So here's a quickie. So if you go to the normal all star page you can see here um, you, you know you can you've got to create an account all star account apparently with a web transceiver you don't actually need to have a node number but most of us we do just apply for a node number anyway so you can do that quite simply just click on um, let's have a look all star node portal node settings and then apply for your number but anyway that's what I, not what this video is about so the first thing you're going to have to do is down is use the browser pale moon so download the browser pale moon yeah okay so once you've got that uh the next thing you're going to need to do is download java so i'll put all these links in the description of the video so download java so you've got downloaded java okay you've got pale moon you've got java so that's the two essential things um, when you open the Java page, um, you're going to end up with a window. Now, let me just uh, make sure you can see this a minute. So I'll just pause to make sure you can see this, this window. Right, we're back. So we've got the Java here in front of us. And when you open this Java window, you can find it by just clicking Start, and then the Java control panel will come up. So in general, you don't change anything. Update, no need to touch that. Java, don't touch that. Now in security, what you want to do is you want to add, uh, you want to click enable here at the top and um, high here. And then see where it says here, HTTP, two dots, one above the other, slash slash www dot all with two L's, starlink.org. You definitely need to get that in there. Now the way you get it in there is, you, you click edit site, then you click add, type it in. So again, HTTPS, two dots, slash slash, www.allstarlink.org. So remember that, and then you click add, okay? And then that will allow it to run. And then click OK, right. So then what you do, then do is go back to your All Star page and what you go to, one of, go to a, a node, so go link status or node list and type in, the one I've used that I know works is, I'm pretty sure it's 29883. Let's just check that that is the one, which is N6XLX. Now see where it says WT, you need to click that. So we're gonna click it. I'm just gonna make sure you can see this a minute. I'm just gonna double check that you can see this. Yeah, it looks like you can, right? Just making sure. So when you click it, see this here on the right, you've got the transceiver connected. When you first do it, you're gonna get some pop-up messages from Java. So allow and run those pop-up messages and eventually you will get this window and then you'll be able to connect. And to transmit, you click key here. Yeah, to transmit and here. Now let me just go to the one that is connected. So, no, it's not gonna connect because I've disconnected it. So click connect, right, we're connected, and then click key transmit. You can hear it ringing. It's a bit quiet. It says, right, it's just connected. See here, it's gone a bit of a light blue color. So we're now connected. Now if I want to, um, I can, with a bit of luck, I'll probably get some echoing. I've got my radio here on node number 29883, and I can hit key transmit. And hello. Uh, hello. So you can hear it echoing. Now if I unkey, to, the laptop isn't very loud, but if I go like this, M0FXB test. Now I'll just put the microphone near the laptop. M0FXB test. So G3ZHI, so I'll just turn the volume down on the laptop while we do this test. Um, so go again, Ian, and Ian is now talking on the web transceiver. Uh, back to you, Ian. Okay, Andreas, and I 
I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on a successful project, and I hope you that have many years of enjoyment with your web transceiver. Now you heard that, thanks Ian. And so what I'm going to do is turn up the microphone on the laptop. I'm now going to reply to Ian using the laptop. So we're going to click key transmit. Thanks Ian, thanks very much. So I'm turning off the radio. I'm now replying to you um, from the laptop. Now I do have a microphone connected into the laptop, so I'm not sure if you're picking me up on the microphone. One, two, three of, the, of my studio mic, which you can see in the video or um, whether you're picking me up from the microphone in the laptop. But, so hopefully you, you uh, receive that. I'm gonna, dis I'm gonna now unkey and we're gonna listen to you coming back to me on the laptop. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> so uh, I hope the audio is uh, okay. Uh, you're certainly coming through. I'm obviously on using the all-star web transceiver and you're coming through fine, your audio is okay. Right, so we'll, uh, we'll reply to Ian on the web transceiver and then we'll end the video. So, okay Ian, I'm um, just going to reply to you on the web transceiver and then I'm going to download this um, video to YouTube and then let's have a look and let's see if we can all have some fun with All Star Link and the web transceiver. 7-3, and if Ian wants to say 7-3, go ahead. You okay, Andreas? Well, uh, glad you got it going. It's fairly easy, really, and uh, straightforward. So uh, I think the ones who made the video got it up there. Uh, people will see how easy it is to do. Okay, G3ZHI. Cheers, Ian. 7-3. Got lots of echoing going on here, but it's worked well. Thanks very much for your help, Ian. 7-3.